Hi, this is Josh Olson. You're watching Trailers from Hell. It's 1963, we're in the Bronx, and we're about to join a street gang. So let's get ready to rumble, and let's watch The Wanderers. We now know the 1950s ended in 1963. 1979 was a great year for gang movies because we had two of the best ever made that year. One was The Warriors, Walter Hill's mythic gang fantasy, and the other one was this one, The Wanderers. Uh, written and directed by Philip Kaufman, based on Richard Price's tremendous first novel of the same name, which was published in 1974. Richard Price is one of my favorite writers. He wrote a bunch of great books in the 70s, uh, Blood Brothers, Ladies' Man, The Breaks, very colorful, rambling novels full of richly observed characters and incredible dialogue, all at least seemingly based on aspects of his own life and youth. He then spent much of the 80s writing some terrific screenplays like The Color of Money, Sea of Love, and a movie I love to death, Mad Dog and Glory, in which Bill Murray plays a guy who's way tougher than Robert De Niro, and it actually works. When he returned to novels in the early 90s, he came back with a whole new style and approach with the heavily researched and brilliant Clockers, which has influenced an entire generation of crime writers and was an enormous influence on the greatest TV show ever made, The Wire, on which he was also a writer. But The Wanderers is where it all began, and it's a beautiful love letter to a world that just doesn't exist anymore. Philip Coffin, who wrote and directed the film, is also responsible for some other amazing movies from this era, uh, The Outlaw Josie Wales, uh, as well as the great remake, one of the few remakes that's at least as good as the original, uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the one with Donald Sutherland, not the 27 other remakes. There's an incredible football game in this movie that turns into a rumble. While the movie itself is set uh, more or less in the real world, a little bit of a kind of idealized golden era view of the real world, th this football rumble is every bit as, as stylized and, and brilliantly shot as anything that you can find in The Warriors. The movie's got a great cast. The big guy there is Tony Ganyos, who played Meat in the Porky's films. Uh, the great Dolph Sweet popped up there a minute ago. Uh, Michael Wright, who was in The Five Heartbeats and the HBO series Oz. Uh, and Karen Allen, who had a great decade, starring in this, Animal House, and of course, uh, a little movie called Raiders of the Lost Ark. And at the heart of it all is Ken Wall, uh, who's just absolutely fantastic, who just carries this film uh, as the lead character, and who went on later to do a wonderful TV show called Wise Guy. Be the first in your neighborhood to answer, are teenagers bad for each other?